I'm going to basically put on the same song at the same time. I'm gonna see what that song sounds like from a decibel uh, reader without the subwoofer plugged in and with the subwoofer plugged in so we can get a good understanding of what this unit does. All right, today guys, we are looking at the JBL Bass Pro. And for those of you not familiar with this type of subwoofer, it is a powered subwoofer. And what that means is the amplifier is built into the subwoofer. You don't have to run a separate amplifier to be able to use a powered subwoofer. Now, powered subwoofers, they're not gonna be the most loud sounding. They're not gonna be the best sounding out on the market. But if you're someone who is a beginner to audio systems, if you're someone who doesn't want to have a lot of cords, a lot of wires, a lot of boxes, a lot of amps, this makes it really easy because you are able to just simply connect uh, the high level input into speakers in your car and that will signal to power these on. So you don't have to run you know, a line out converter, you don't have to run any RCAs, you don't have to run a remote wire. The only thing that you need is a battery wire, a ground wire, and obviously the connection from the speakers uh, via a high level input, which they provide everything right here. So let's go ahead and flip this around. I've actually had a similar model to one of these before I had the, the JBL GT Bass Pro, and it is basically identical. So this subwoofer is 150 watts RMS. What that means is it will always be pumping out 150 watts. That doesn't mean that's what it'll peak at or be the low, that's just what it means in terms of it being constant. So I've had a similar uh, unit to this. The JBL GT Base Pro and the JBL, JBL Base Pro put out the same watts. The only difference is the frequency. So really between those two, there's not a huge difference. We are gonna test it out today. Uh, the JBL GT Base Pro, I'll throw up a screenshot for you guys. It does look more like a transformer when you look at it. So I actually much prefer the look of this one. This one is harder to find um, in terms of just price points. The GT Base Pro is typically cheaper. However, I was able to find this one and I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, but I was able to get this one for around $200. Most of the time though, it's around like 300 plus. So we're gonna test it out to see how well it does today. I'm gonna be comparing it in my Chevy Camaro. I'm going to basically put on the same song at the same time. I'm gonna see what that song sounds like from a decibel uh, reader without the subwoofer plugged in and with the subwoofer plugged in so we can get a good understanding of what this unit does. So I'll just go ahead and show just kind of a close up of what you guys can do on this. You have low pass, you obviously have your bass boost, your gain. Um, you definitely can change the 180 phase depending on you know which way you want the subwoofer going. Um, and yeah, so auto turn on is something we're gonna want on. So that'll automatically turn it on and turn it off when we hook up to the speakers, it'll signal it to, to bring power. You obviously you have a 25 uh, amp fuse, which honestly isn't super big. You have a remote control, which comes in this nice package where you guys can actually adjust the base. So a lot of people run this up to the front of their cars, put it underneath the steering wheel so you can adjust the base. Because if you adjust the base on your car, it's not going to just adjust the subwoofer separately. Uh, that is a downside. And so this actually does adjust the subwoofer separately. So if you're trying to adjust your bass in your car, if you add bass, it's gonna add bass to all the speakers, um, including the subwoofer. Um, the only thing I don't like about this design and why I like the Rockford Fosgate is I don't like um, these right here. So in order to get to these, you know, you really have to like lift this up in order to be able to run your wires up to that. I like on the Rockford Fosgate that it's just right here on the side, but overall this feels like a well-built box. My previous JBL GT Base Pro did awesome. So we're gonna throw it in my Camaro. I'm not gonna show you guys how to install one of these, but we're gonna put it in, we're gonna test it and see the difference and how well this thing performs. All right guys, we are in my Camaro. So we're gonna do a test and guys, is this the most accurate test? No, but hopefully it gives you guys a good comparison of the difference that this JBL powered subwoofer makes. So I'm gonna be using the Decibel X app so I'm gonna be measuring uh, the differences between the subwoofer being on 
and the subwoofer being off so you guys can tell just how much louder is it having a powered sub in your car. Now my Chevy Camaro has a great sound system. It has the Bose sound system so it's got a subwoofer built in and it already sounds amazing although I'm just looking for a little extra punch. So I'm going to share with you guys um, just the results of this. I'm going to use the same song. I'm going to use it for the same amount of time and then I'll post the results up on the screen for you guys to see. All right, so there you guys have it. Uh, you can see that there's, there's quite a bit of difference uh, between having the powered subwoofer or not. And guys, for 200 bucks, man, just the added base that you can get to a stock system um, is tremendous. I think in a car like this with the Bose sound system, yeah, you notice a, a, a decent amount of difference, but I think it works even more impactful in a car that doesn't have the best sound system and you're just looking to add some bass and some sound to it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed uh, just basically seeing what the subwoofer can do. I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to be able to purchase this subwoofer. It's awesome. I'll also thrown there in the wiring kit. I do have other videos on how to install a powered subwoofer in your car, so please make sure and check that out. Anyways, guys, I'm Oz with Gone 60. We'll catch you on the next video. Oh, my God.